live coverage of Expo North as it happens. This is Expo North Live. Here at Expo North, we're showcasing films from all over the world, but this one has probably travelled the farthest. Let's take a look. Oh, she wouldn't do that, would she? Have sex in a park or get pregnant. Sex in a park. It's nasty. Oh, she would. Nikki Richardson, who uh, made the film, we are here now, and her sister, Julia, who stars. Welcome to you both. Um, first of all, how important is something like Expo North for you? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> I, I mean, I kind of thought that the film had quite an Australian kind of sense of humour to it, so I kind of wasn't really expecting people from outside Australia to get it, but it's really nice that it's quite universal. And that's surprising, but yeah. And the funny thing is that you're based in, in Melbourne and you live in Darwin. Yes. So th this is us bringing you together <laughs> in exactly. Inverness. Exactly. Yeah. It's all thanks to Expo now. <laughs> so, I mean, Julia, how did you get the role in your sister's film? <laughs> Well, you know, it was a process of gruelling auditions. <laughs> no, um, I think we kind of always knew that you were going to make a film with me in it, didn't yeah. we? <laughs> well, because she's an actor, like she's a trained actor, so that's handy to have in the family. Yeah. Um, and we have kind of a similar taste, I think. So when I was doing all the... I wrote a few different scripts and we ended up using this one, but pretty much all of the drafts Julia read, didn't you? Yeah. And, um, yeah, you probably should have got a script, a writing credit in it, but oh, she didn't. <laughs> will, will you be getting in touch with the Writers Guild now? <laughs> She's clearly given you a hostage to fortune here. Typical. <laughs> I mean, what's it like working together as sisters? You know, you know each other, you have a shorthand. You, you, you... Yeah, I don't know. I think it's we're just really comfortable with each other, so that's good. And the other um, actor, Jess Kennedy, who plays Julia's younger sister, she was really great too. And I think the three of us got along really well, didn't we? And I yeah. think the reason the film works is because the performances are so strong. And that came from the three of us. It was just like having lunch, having a few beers together, talking about things, and then yeah. it got to the day and it, like, we were all just really comfortable, and I think that was good. Yeah, and I think in terms of like actor and director relationships, it's really good to have a certain amount of honesty, which I sort of asked for from you as well, didn't I? True. Like, it was really good to just have someone that you know is going to tell you exactly how it is and you go, OK, yep, cool, that's what you want, let's change it then and we'll do it again, you know? Cause, yeah, so Julia's done theatre, not so much film, right? So, like, yeah. on the day she was like, just if I go into my theatre face, just tell me, like, if it's too much and I'll be like, theatre face. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. you have quite an expressive face, don't I you? I do. <laughs> not ideal for film. <laughs> Do you come from a from an acting, a, a filmmaking background? Is there anybody else in your family who does this? Well, a kind of a creative family, I guess. Like, we've got a brother. Oh, like, the three of us um, are quite creative. Calvin Richardson, he's a um, dancer with the Royal Ballet, so he's creative in that way. So... I th none of our family members do it as a career. We no. just have, like, a really... A sort of out there strange family that like yeah. did theatre in country towns or yeah. like sings country music at bars it's sort of we just have like random theatrical family yeah. members <laughs> so and I guess we had parents who told us to do whatever makes us happy which is probably why we're here so thanks mum and dad <laughs> what do your family make of you you know coming to Inverness coming to Expo North live um, they were all just really excited. I think they're jealous yeah. that they're not having a holiday as well. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really good. I mean, what's been your first impression of, of coming round in Venice and having a look at the festival? Um, well, we kind of just arrived. We got the night bus over this morning, <laughs> but um, it looks beautiful and we are kind of keen to learn about the Loch Ness Monster stuff. Uh, so. <laughs> who knows, there may be a movie in it. Oh, Nobody's cool. done it yet. <laughs> 
I mean, you, you've, you've collaborated on this. Are you planning to work together on something else? Yeah, hopefully. Um, we've got a few ideas, haven't we? But they're in like the very early stages, so we're trying to just write more. Probably more film stuff. Julia does a lot of theatre stuff back home in Darwin. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, hopefully we can do something. Yeah, I again. think we will. I think we uh, want to tell the same stories in a way. Like, we have our own perspectives on things, but, like, really, we have kind of a similar sense of the world, so I think that will work really well for us writing together. Yeah. And it did work for this film, I yeah. think. So. I mean, it's, it's a shame, really, that nowadays we, have, we still have to bring this up, but how important is it to have a female perspective on film writing and acting? Oh, I think it's really important because, I mean, I, this is speaking... Oh, sorry, I just touched the microphone. Um, You're OK. For me, personally, I... Basically, whenever I go to the cinema, like, I'm obviously interested in the female characters and they're just so often not who I am. I don't really feel like they represent my experience, so... I definitely want to make films about people like me. I don't know, maybe that sounds self-involved, but I think there's definitely a market for it as well. Like, yeah, no, and I think as an actor searching for... Like, I remember at uni them saying, OK, you've got to get a collection of monologues together, and I just remember thinking, I don't like any of these. I don't want to do any of these monologues. And then in the end, I was just like, OK, well, I need to just write one, so I like wrote my own monologue for my final showcase because I was just like, I'm... This is, none of these are right, none of them. You know, it's either 30-year-olds or young teenagers and none of them really represent. Or just not written by women, so just not, not right. Yeah. I don't know. Well, it's great to see you here. Um, hopefully see you back here another time as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, enjoy Expo Thanks. North Live. Thanks so much um, for having thank us. You, thank you for coming all this way. It's the very least we could do. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.